Hey there, Iris. Red, I'm Tina. Iris is on the other side of the playground. Oh, I knew that. I guess I thought she was the one saying hello to me. From a hundred feet away? Maybe. Past the jungle gym? Uh, possibly. From inside the tunnel? Okay, so I just got mixed up. Mixed up? Is something wrong, Rhett? You haven't been yourself lately. You're walking with your head down. You've been calling everyone by the wrong name. You never know what's going on in class when Miss Cornelius calls on you. And, and four times last week, you ran right into the school wall. Five. Five times. Principal Lensley said that was a school record. Rhett, come on. What's going on? I'm not sure, Tina. I've sort of been having trouble seeing things lately. Yesterday, I ran into the school wall, knocked over the milk cart, and called Principal Lensley my mommy all in the same day. I don't know what's wrong with you, Rhett, but if we don't hurry back to class, Miss Cornelius would be really mad. More upset than when I can't answer any of her questions? You bet. Hurry up, Rhett. Okay. Hey, wait for me, Tina. Oh, no! questions Miss Cornelius put on the board? No way, Tina. I can't read what she wrote on the board. Why did she write, the police are taking a bath? Gee willikers, Rhett. It says, please turn in your math. What's going on? Uh, I have no clue, Tina. What's wrong with me? I don't know, Rhett. But when my mommy had trouble seeing, she went to go see the eye doctor. But I just went to see Doc Wallace two weeks ago, and she said that I was just fine. She checked my head, my ears, my heart, and... Uh, Doc Wallace is not the kind of doctor I'm talking about. You need to go see the optometrist. The octopus? What? No, the optometrist, silly. They're special doctors who just look at your eyes. But I don't want to go to the eye doctor. Maybe she'll poke me in the eyeball or shoot lasers into my pupil. Or what if when I leave her office, my iris is a different color? Oh, Rhett, there's nothing to worry about. Going to the eye doctor isn't bad at all. Hmm. What do they do? Well, they ask you questions about your eyes. And then they do some fun tests to make sure your eyes are okay. They ask questions? Does that mean I'll have to tell her about all the times I've looked directly at the sun? Or when Bubba Sue threw ball and hit me square bomb into the middle of the eyes? She may. Or will the optometeorologist... Optometrist. Oh yeah, optometrist. I wonder if she'll get as mad as my mom did if I tell her about the time I was standing too close to a sparkler at my Aunt Jojo B's 4th of July picnic. Oh, Rhett, you're worrying too much about going to the optometrist. When I went to the optometrist, she didn't get mad at me. She just asked me some questions. You know, like if my mommy and daddy wore glasses. When I told her that they did, she said I might need glasses too. But then she checked my eyes and found out they were just fine. That doesn't sound too bad at all. I guess I should go see an optometrist too. But I've got to tell you, I'm still a little nervous. Oh, you'll be fine. <gasps> we better be quiet now. Miss Cornelius is ready to start class. <coughs> this way, silly. Oh, right. I knew that. <laughs> Gee whiz, bejeepers, Rhett. You really need to go see the eye doctor. All right. Well, hello, Rhett. Oh, hello. Um, Rhett, you put your last name as N-A. Does that mean you don't want to give me your name? You know, like no answer? No, sir. Na is my last name. N-A. My name is Rhett Na. Oh, wonderful. 
I'm just going to have you read the chart up on the wall. Can you do that for me? Sure. The first is, well, I guess it sort of looks like a three-legged elephant. Maybe a hippo? I can't be too sure. I guess the next line has a monkey and a picture of my mother. Wow. How did you get that? That's not your mother, Rhett. And the other objects aren't animals. Is it a picture of a nice flower arrangement, then? Perhaps some sort of sports equipment? No, Rhett. They're not flowers or sports equipment, either. Here, try this and tell me if you're still seeing monkeys. Oh, wow! Those are objects! Now I can see! The first is a circle, the second is a square, next is a house! And then an apple, that doesn't look anything like my mommy. No, you're right. You just need glasses. Why? Do I need to drink more milk out of my glasses? I'm not sure what you're saying. No, Rhett. Not glasses that you drink milk from, but glasses that you stick on your face and see through. Like the ones I saw on the wall when I came in? Exactly. Why don't you go pick out a pair that you like, and we'll make sure that they are special just for you. Great! Thanks, Dr. Optic. You're my hero. You're welcome. <laughs> Hey, Tina! Wow! You have glasses! Uh, that's right! I went to the optometrist and he checked my eyes. It turns out I was having trouble seeing. Now I have these glasses and I can see just fine. Cool! Were you nervous? Yeah, at first. But was there anything to worry about? No! It was actually kind of fun! See, I told you so, Rhett. It sounds like you had a good time. And your glasses are real cool. Just like you, Rhett. Uh, you're the best, Tina. I'm just glad you can see me again. Me too. <laughs> <laughs>